A Castle in England by Jamie Rhodes is a collection of five graphic stories where he collaborates with five artists to tell stories going through the eras of Castle Scotney in the county of Kent in southern England. Uh, so yes, we go from the medieval era in, uh, you know, I got my little list there, the medieval era in uh, 1381, the Elizabethan era, 1590, the Georgian era in 1720, uh, the Victorian era, uh, going from like 1819 to 1855, obviously not the whole Victorian era, uh, and then the Edwardian era from 1907 to 1923, and uh, leaving off there, uh, Castle Scotney is now uh, part of the National Trust. Uh, I think the last resident of the house uh, died in like 2006, and so it became open to the public in like 2007. So this, yeah, so the author has go went there, kind of went through all the ar the archives, kind of dug up and found the stories of around, around the castle and um, kind of connected it with the general kind of like history of England. So uh, very much uh, the book, the book um, has like little, there's in the, in the front of each section, you get a family tree of who are the owners of the thing, uh, starting off with the, uh, the Scotney, <laughs> or whatever family tree back in the uh, 1300s uh going into the uh and going into the other ones ending up with i think the hussy the uh what are they called the the hussy family oh yeah the uh yes the hussy family tree in the Ed edwardian era and indeed i believe the last resident was a hussy or however you say the name Apologies. Apologies. Um, so yeah, it starts out with like a family tree and at the very end of each section after telling a story, um, it'll have, uh, the, have the historical context of each era and then sort of the factual background at uh, Castle Scotney itself. So it's very kind of, it's in, in a way, it's sort of segmented up that way. In some ways that is, um, you know, your mileage will vary with uh, the various different styles that they have. I'm definitely much more of a cartoon, cartoony fellow myself. I found some of the stories, uh, this one in particular, I think um, sometimes it was like sort of, I thought that the graph, the, the artists were having a hard time actually kind of communicating the story. Um, and it wasn't, it was, it was one of these, I think I felt like this, these stories lent a lot we're leaning a lot on the text surrounding them, which might have been uh, might be a problem with uh, just the um, just the collaboration between uh, author, uh, the writer, and the artist. It's in some ways I felt like um, there could have been d more done graphically to communicate a lot of the information, which ends up in the the afterwards, which um, bef the afterwards, and sometimes I had to use the afterward to sort of figure out what they were trying to say in the story. Uh, one that I found particularly bad for that was the uh, Elizabethan era one where I wasn't quite sure what was happening with the priest and I had to read read the, the story is called The Priest and it's about kind of uh, Catholics during the, the beginning of the Protestant age, which was not a great time. My, my family actually... Um, my mother's side were uh, Catholics around in Bromley, Bromley, Kent, or somewhere, somewhere in that area, uh, milling about and gives you maybe a little bit of insight. This is obviously more upper class than whatever I would have been, but I, yeah, I, I had a I had a little bit of trouble just sort of understanding what was what was going on in that section. Um, so yeah, it, it felt like one of those things where I, I almost felt like, you know, they were delivered a script of do say oh. Uh, I'm not going to speculate on how it went, but it it reads like okay, we have a script, and some of the stories were rather pat. One of the ones actually that I thought really did work well, I don't know if that's a part of it, has got to do with the style, is uh, the widow, uh, the one set in the Victorian Victorian era, and indeed it's the it's the era where the old castle gets turned into a. Um, sort of a folly castle. There's a whole tradition of, of building stuff to make it look like ruins. This was the case where they deliberately more ruined the castle to make it look like a folly castle, a, uh, a, um, a feature for the garden, the feature for the gardens. And then the, they built what is the uh, new Scotney castle now. Um, but uh, I found, I guess maybe it was the style of this section uh, really appealed to me even like in the on the opening page, the style, and I think even the artist maybe has just that much more chops. You've got the black dog here at the at the 
at the top and uh, depression, depression rears its ugly head. And indeed, um, at the end, I'm not going to, I'm not going to give away the story because it's, it is one of the stories I really enjoyed the most. You think, oh, is depression rearing its head again? And, and that image, the, the black dog shows up again. And just that the artist, artist uh, herself, which is, uh, this is Becky Palmer. Uh, just like I, I found some, um, I found her images that more striking. Uh, like she was more engaging with it on a kind of a psychological level. And indeed, the story ends with uh, some of the other stories end kind of like a aha moment, kind of gotcha moment. Whereas this one was much more subtle, much more touching that way. So this was a real standout. Uh, I found a lot of the other stories not so much. Either I felt like that they, there just wasn't that. The, the chops um, that it didn't they didn't really stand on their own they, they were leaning on these afterward texts which um, I know with like kind of artists like uh, Joe Sacco and um, David Collier uh, fellow Canadian there's ways that you can pile tons of information uh, into into a uh, graphic into a comic story which is amazing how much you can communicate how much you can um, you can uh, you can uh, pile into a story like a his history story where you're really getting a lot of details into it in a way that you um, in some ways you'd have to you you would have to write a volumes and volumes of a history textbook to uh, get the same get the same effect. So yeah, it was it was sort of a mixed bag for me. For me, uh, there was that there's the one story, the widow, which really stands out. Uh, other stories, I felt like maybe the it, it was it was a case of the the artist maybe not being quite up to snuff or just that collaboration between artist and author uh feeling too separate like that you know i'm going to give you a script and you're going to do the art for the script and then we're going to have the afterward to kind of help because you weren't able to actually kind of properly get the story across um or in a way that really kind of i, I felt like you know this is a standalone story on its own so yeah that is my review of a castle in England. It's it's amazing. It is amazing to just focus on this one little area, and just all the history around it, and how how you can follow one one place through his through this history of England uh, to give you a kind of a, a real t flavor of of a country of what's going on there. So, yeah, more videos later.